Okay, so uh, let's discuss uh, direct current meters. So uh, direct current meter no, uses permanent magnet moving coil or most commonly called as the Arsenobal meter movement as the main part for measuring current, voltage, or resistance. No? In today's industry, ito na yung uh, madalas na ginagamit no? as the main part for, uh, for using voltmeter, uh, ohmmeter, and uh, ammeter. Okay, so yung uh, the Arsenobal meter movement. I think na-discuss ko na ata itong uh, yung uh, concept behind this no doon sa previous lecture no. Kung hindi niyo pa alam kung paano gumagana yung uh, permanent magnet moving moving coil no, uh, panoorin niyo muna yung uh, lecture na yun. Okay? So uh, let's discuss the three types of direct current meter no. The first one is the DC ammeter no. DC ammeter is a device no, a type of device no, that indicates the amount of DC current flowing through the the, the Arsenobal meter movement. Medyo nakakabulol no. So yung symbol for ammeter is may bilog. Uh, normally ito ginagamit no even sa mga circuit simulation. Bilog tapos merong uh, symbol na I or or kung hindi man to merong arrow no na arrow na nakaturo sa kanan or sa kaliwa. So yun yung symbol for ammeter. Now, okay. So, paano ba gumagana itong DC ammeter? Yung basic principle niya is since may needle deflection siya, no? uh, kung yung uh, iba sa inyo napanood na kung paano gumagana ito. No? So, yung needle deflection, nagde-deflect yan, no? depende dun sa kuryente yung dumadaloy sa kanya. So, in short, yung deflection ng needle dun sa scale natin is directly proportional dun sa current na dumadaloy sa kanya. Okay? So, yung equivalent circuit na gagamitin natin for the permanent magnet, magnet moving coil is Ah, uh, itong nasa baba na to. Ito, itong nakikita niyo to. Okay? So, yun yung basic principle niya, no? So, yung deflection of needle is depende dun sa kuryenteng dumadaloy sa coil. Okay? So, uh, every permanent magnet moving coil, no? meron niyang maximum allowable current na kaya lang niyang i-accommodate. So, ang tawag dun is the full scale current or some uh, reference ang tawag dun is full scale deflection current. Okay, so yun lang yung maximum na kaya niyang uh, i-accommodate, no? Uh, beyond that, pwedeng makasira doon sa PMMC natin. So, uh, ito lang yung lagi natin na kailangan tandaan, yung full scale current, no? So, pinaka-importante itong parameter pag nagsisolve tayo, no? As well as pag nag pag uh, kung sakali man gumawa tayo in the future kayo, no, ng uh, type ng uh, isang meter no uh, lagi nyo itong uh, i-consider yung full scale current no? para para meron kayong ano uh, uh, idea na ah, hanggang dito lang pala yung kaya niya accommodate no? beyond this uh, pwedeng makasira na doon sa PMMC natin okay so at full scale current the deflection of the needle is at maximum so, obvious naman no? pagka full scale yung current big sabihin at maximum yung kuryenteng dumadali doon sa PMMC maximum yung deflection ng pointer natin okay So the ammeter no needs to have a shunt resistor no kailangan niya no to limit the current flowing through the meter movement kasi nga gusto natin malimitahan lang siya dun sa maximum na full scale current. So ang gagawin natin is maglalagay tayo ng shunt resistor no uh, in parallel with the meter movement para malimitahan yung yung uh, kuryenteng dumadali dun sa meter movement natin or dun sa PMMC natin. Okay? So yung ammeter circuit equivalence is yun na nga mayroong shunt resistor no may parallel na naka may resistor na nakaparallel dun sa meter movement and uh, yung mga parameters is nandito no yung RSH is the shunt resistance yung RS yung uh, R sub SH full scale current IFS yung IM is the current to be measured big sabihin yun yung uh, yun yung i-measure natin na na kuryente no and yung RM is the PMMC resistance o yung uh, uh, yung resistance na meron si PMMC no. Okay? Uh, yung RSH is equals to the um, ratio of uh, the product of uh, meter resistance times the full scale current divided by the difference of the current to be measured minus the full scale current. Okay, so yan, hindi nyo naman kailangang uh, tandaan nyo. No? Kung alam nyo yung basic ng KCL and KBL, hindi nyo kailangang memorize nyo. No? Pero anyway, ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung nalimutan nyo na or wala kayong knowledge. Okay? Pero kung yung wala talagang knowledge, ay, di, di, ito na lang yung memorize nyo. Okay, so let's have an uh, sample problem. Punta tayo din sa isang software. No? Yun ang gamitin natin. Okay. So um let's uh, design o sabi sa problem no uh, design daw tayo ng ammeter that can measure up to 5 ampere o yun so 5 ampere yung uh, current to be measured natin 
and has a 500 ohm meter movement resistance with a full scale current of 1 milliampere ampere so uh, meron tayong 5 ampere na kayang na na, na, na i-measure natin so big sabihin ito yun 5 ampere yung dumadali dito dun sa output terminal natin and dito sa shunt resistance i think ito ata yung hinahanap kasi ito yung wala no RSH and may full scale current down na 1 milliampere Okay, and ano pa ba? Merong 500 ohm meter movement. So, merong 500 ohm na resistance tong PMMC natin. So, hinahanap is, uh, I think itong RSH. Kasi magdi-design tayo ng ammeter. So, kailangan kompleto lahat tong parameter na to. So, hanapin natin tong RSH. No? So, first thing, oh, pwede nyo gamitin tong, uh, uh, itong formula na to. No? Okay, pero kung hindi, kung nagtitipid na kayo ng brain cells, no? So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung uh, conventional method na ginagamit natin. Or yung uh, KBL method or yung KCL. Okay? So, sige, let's start. No? Uh, first thing, uh, kunin muna natin yung kuryente yung dumadali dito sa shunt resistance. No? Paano natin kukunin yan? Mag-KCL tayo dito sa node na to. No? So, KCL is um, yung current na, na pumapasok. No? Current in, current in equals current out. Okay, so yung current int na dumadaloy dito sa node na to is yung 5 ampere. Okay, so may pumapasok pa ba na kuryente? O wala na naman, no? Equal dun sa current out. Yung current out is, uh, let's call this as ISH. Kasi wala namang binigay na variable, no? So, ISH plus 1 milliampere. So, solve natin si ISH. Uh, ano ba tong 5 Minus 0.0001 is, I think, 4.999. Check na natin. 1 milliampere. Okay, tama. So, 4.999 ampere yung uh, dumadaloy na uh, kuryente dito sa sa shunt resistor natin. So, delete natin ito. Okay, delete natin. So, may dumadali dito na 4.999 ampere. Okay? So, next. Um, kulang pa tayo ng variable. It's because uh, hindi natin makukuha itong resistance kasi wala tayong voltage across the shunt resistor. Now, uh, kung maaalala nyo yung voltage is equals to current times resistance, ano yan? Ohms lo yan, ba? So, hanapin natin yung voltage across the shunt resistor. No? Pero, wala namang binigay sa problem. Paano natin kukunin yun? Madali lang. Uh, dahil parallel yung shunt resistance dito sa meter resistance natin, no? pwede natin kunin yung voltage uh, nitong 500 ohm na meter resistance. No? And yung voltage na to is equal lang doon sa shunt resistance because uh, that is the rule of parallel resistor. Kung ano yung uh, voltage dito sa R1, kung may nakaparallel sa kanya na isang resistance pa rin, no? yun din yung voltage. Parehas sila. No? Parehas sa V1, V2. B1 ay equal sa B2. No? Kung nalimutan nyo na yung uh, tungkol sa mga ganyan, no? uh, i-recall nyo. No? Uh, but unfortunately, hindi ko naman to talaga i-discuss sa, sa course natin. is because hindi naman sakop yung, yung uh, KBL, KCL sa course natin. No? So, pakirecall na lang kung medyo nalimutan nyo na. Okay? So, yun. Gagawin natin. No? Uh, kunin natin yung voltage across the, sh the uh, meter resistance. So, 500 ohm. So, itong V ay equal sa 500 times 1 milliampere. So, equal to sa... Hindi ko naman kaya yung i-mental yan. So, 0.5 volts. So, 0.5 volts. So, 0.5 volts uh, yung meron dito sa 500 ohm. Tanggalin mo muna ito para masyado ng uh, madami. Ah... Uh, Ayan, nahihirapan ako mag-delete dito. Okay, isa-isa na lang natin. Okay, malapit na. Okay, so meron dito 0.5 volts. Okay, so meron dito yung 0.5 volts, meron din dito 0.5 volts. Okay? So, meron na tayong uh, voltage across the shunt resistor and as well as yung current na dumadali sa kanya. So, pwede na natin kunin si, uh, si shunt resistance. No? 
by using this KBI, KBL. Itong uh, ohms law pala. No? So, R shunt is equal to the voltage na meron sa kanya uh, which is uh, equal to 0.5 volts divided by the current na dumadali sa kanya which is 4.999 ampere o equal to sa Ating natin, 0.5 divided by 4.999 so 0.1 uh, ohms okay So, 0.1 ohms yung uh, sagot natin sa shunt uh, resistance. So, uh, yan. Check natin kung tama ba talaga yan uh, doon sa formula na meron tayong R shunt is equals to IFS divided by IM minus IFS times RM. No? So, check natin. So, RSH is equals to IFS 1 milliampere divided by IM. Ano ba yung IM natin? Yung, me yung measured current natin is 5 ampere minus full scale current times the meter resistance 500 ohms equals to so 4.1 milliampere 5 minus 1 milliampere times 500 ohms so tama. 0.1 ohms yung sagot natin. Okay, so tama tayo. No? So, ayan, nasa sa inyo yan. Kung gusto nyo yung uh, mag-KBL, mag-KCL, yung mag law, or gusto nyo yung uh, ano, uh, direct uh, substitution dun sa formula. No? So, nasa sa inyo. Uh, ang advantage lang kasi nung KBL is that pag pinaikot-ikot kayo dun sa problem, hindi kayo uh, mahihirapan kasi kaya nyo yung, pas kaya nyo yung, ano, eh, kaya nyo yung uh, sagutan, yung pasikot-sikot. Uh, hindi ka tulad dito, nag-focus lang kayo dun sa formula. No? Uh, pag uh, iniba na yung tanong, nahihirapan na kayo. No? So, um, I, I advise na mas maganda pa rin na alamin nyo yung concept behind kung ano yung sinosolve nyo talaga. Eh, huwag kayong mag-stick dun sa formula lang na meron dun sa, sa concept na yun. No? So, mas magandang mas na iintindihan nyo paano ba yung galaw no? ng mga parameters na meron dun. So, yung ko concept pa rin talaga yung, yung importante. Okay? Okay, so let's discuss the next type of ammeter which is the Arton shunt ammeter, no? So itong Arton shunt ammeter is kaya niyang mag uh, mag-measure ng multi-range, no? Uh, current, no? Hindi katulad dun sa isang ammeter kanina, kaya niya lang mag-measure ng isang uh, isang range, no? So kung 5 ampere lang yung kaya niyang maximum na kaya niyang i-measure, 5 ampere lang talaga. So ito is pwedeng may selector, no? Pwedeng hanggang 5 ampere, pwedeng hanggang 10 ampere pwedeng hanggang 100 ampere and so on and so forth. So, para siyang multi-ammeter. Parang ganun yung dating niya. Okay? So, ito yung equivalent resistance ng Ayrton shunt parameter. So, kung gusto nyo yung tatlo yung equivalent na, or tatlo yung range na kaya niyang i-measure, so tatlong resistor yung isa-shunt yun. Kung gusto nyo yung apat, edi magdagdag pa kayo ng apat. Kung gusto nyo lima, edi lima. No? And so on and so forth. Okay? So, hindi ko na i-discuss dito kung, or hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo yung long method kung paano sinusolve no, using KBL and KCL kasi medyo, medyo mahaba pa yung proseso. No? Uh, medyo complicated pa. So, ang uh, advice ko na lang sa inyo is, is uh, memorize nyo na lang itong formula ito. Madali lang naman ito tandaan. No? Uh, hanap kayo ng pattern kung paano nyo i-memorize. No? So, yung IREC1 is yung IR1. So, eh, nakalagay naman dyan kung ano yung IR1. And uh, i-discuss ko naman mamaya no, pag magsusolve tayo ng problem. Yung IREC2 is the IR2. And yung IREC3 is the IR3. And yung VM na nandito, no, oops, yung nasa taas ng numerator is uh, the current na yung, yung full scale current o yung IM, no, it times the meter movement resistance na RM. Okay, so let's uh, have a problem. So, munta tayo dun sa, for, sa software na ginagamit ko, no? So, design an Ayrton shunt that can measure up to 1 ampere, 5 ampere, and 10 ampere. No? If the meter movement has a resistance of 5, uh, 500 ohms and 1 milliampere full scale current. So, meron daw 1 milliampere na full scale current and may 500 ohm na resistance. No? So, uh, yung tatlong range is 1 ampere. So, lagay natin sa taas. Ito yung 1 ampere ito yung 5 ampere and ito yung 10 ampere. Well, actually, um, pinutol ko lang yung circuit no? kasi mahirap mag-copy uh, paste dito. No? So, ituloy na lang natin. So, ito ay, ito ay ground and lagay tayo ng selector switch dito. Siguro nandito. No? So, ito yung uh, magse-select kung ano yung gusto nyong range. Kung gusto nyo sa 1 ampere, o dito nyo itututok. 
Okay, kung gusto niyo naman sa 5 ampere, edi dito, no? Pero sige, mag-start muna tayo sa 5 sa 1 ampere. Okay? Yung RA, RB at RC, so ito 'yun. RB at RC. Okay? So ayusin muna natin tong formula kasi medyo magulo eh. So i-substitute natin tong tatlong to doon sa mga nandito, no? Okay? So, ayusin muna natin. No? Yung R chantry is RC. So, ilagay ko dito. No? So, yung RB natin is equals to RSH2 minus RC. So, solving for RS, RSH2. Nabubulol na ako. RB plus RC. Okay. So, yung RSH2, ilalagay natin doon sa RA. So, nasa na tayo, no? R is H1 equals RA, no? Plus R is H2, RB plus RC. So, ito yung R is H1, ito yung R is H2, and ito yung R is H3. So, ito yung ilalagay natin dito sa top 3 na formula na natin. So, first, dun muna tayo sa pinakauna, yung VM. Sulit natin dito, no? R is H1 equals BM divided by yung IREC1 is the IR1 no? yung ano ba yung IR1 natin? 1 ampere yun so I, oops, IR1 minus yung IM natin okay, so ilagay natin no? so yung R is H1 is ito RA plus RB plus RC okay, times Uh, times natin, no? itong IR1. Ano ba yung IR1 natin? Uh, 1 ampere minus the full scale current which is 1 milliampere equals yung VM natin. Yung VM natin is uh, 1 milliampere times 500 ohms. No? Ilan ba yan? I think that is uh, 0.5 volts. 1 milliampere times 500 ohms. Ah, mamaya na pala. No? So this is the first equation. Uh, this is the equation 1. Next, second equation kukunin natin dito sa RHH2. Ito. R is SH2 equals uh, iyan na natin, diretso na natin o yung VM, 1 milliampere 500 ohms divided by IR2. Ano ba yung IR2 natin? 5 ampere. Okay, so, 5 ampere minus 1 milliampere. Okay, so yung RSH2 natin is itong RB plus RC. RB plus RC. 5 minus 1 milliampere equals 1 milliampere times 500 ohms. So this is equation 2. Okay, next. Last but not the least, itong RSH3. RSH3 equals 1 milliampere 500 ohms divided by 10 ampere. Tama ba? Minus 1 milliampere. So, yung RSH3 natin is the RC. So, ito yung equation 3 natin. So, alam nyo na. Ang gagawin nyo. Uh, calculator. And hanapin nyo yung equation na kaya mag-solve ng 3 anodes. So, sige. Uh, ayusin muna natin no, para, para madaling ilagay sa calculator. So, ito ay... Sa so, una, RA plus RB plus RC equal Silagay lang natin lahat ng constants dun sa yung may mga numeric value dun sa right sides. Uh, 500 divided by 1 minus 1 milliampere equals 0.5. Tama ba? 0.5. Sana huwag tayo magkamali kasi ang haba nito. Kung magkamali man tayo, sobrang dami nating uh, hindi naman, sobrang medyo magiging complicated lang yung yung uh, error checking natin. So, RB plus RC, uh, pasensya na kasi sulat ko. No? Sobrang medyo pangit. 500 divided by 5 minus 1 milliampere. Ito ay 0.1. Uh, Nira-round off ko na no? kasi ang lalayo kasi ng mga ano eh. Uh, ewan ko kung, uh, kung sinusundan nyo ako, uh, makikita nyo na nira-round off ko siya. So, RC equals 1 milliampere times 500 divided by 10 minus 1 milliampere so 0.05 0.05 
Uh, well, actually, kahit hindi nyo naman i- 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 ano pa to, i-calculate ito, kaya nyo naman i-solve ito kasi meron ng isang known agad na value, which is itong RC. No? Pero kung tinatamad kayo, ay, sige, wala namang problema dun. <laughs> 0.5. 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So, ito yung uh, sagot natin for the 3 shunt resistor. Okay, so, yan. Medyo mahaba lang. Okay, so, next type of DC meter is the DC voltmeter. So, with the word itself, voltmeter, uh, ito yung uh, device na kaya mag-measure ng DC voltage. So, yung symbol natin for, for voltmeter is bilog na V. Okay? So, um, yung basic principle is almost the same ng uh, meter, no? but uh, instead of having yung nakaparallel, which is yung shunt resistor kanina, maglalagay tayo ngayon ng series resistor doon sa meter movement natin. So, kukol natin to as R sub S, or yung RS, okay? or yung series resistor. Okay? So, ito yung voltmeter, uh, circuit equivalent, madaling-madali lang kasi uh, series uh, circuit lang, no? So, yung RS is the series resistance. Yung uh, IFS is, of course, the full-scale current. Di naman, di naman nagbago yun. Okay? And then, yung RM is the meter movement resistance. And yung VM is yung minimeasure natin na voltage. Okay? And yung formula natin is current times the, the summation of the two resistance, yung uh, series resistance tsaka yung meter movement resistance natin. Okay? So, let's have a, uh, a problem na. Okay, so design a voltmeter that can measure up to 100 volt and has a 100 ohm meter movement resistance with a full scale current of 2 milliampere. Okay, so uh, meron daw 2 milliampere na dumadali dito. Well, actually kahit hindi nyo na, hindi nyo na kailangan memorize yung pang formula kasi madali lang to. No? Okay, so 2 milliampere and merong 100 ohm na resistance si meter movement o yung si PMMC. So, hinahanap dito, I think, kasi kung kailangan natin mag-design, so kailangan kompleto lahat yung mga parameter natin. So, hinahanap pata dito yung series resistance. So, ano itong series resistance na to. And yung voltmeter natin is kaya mag-measure ng 100 volt. So, positive minus yung maximum ay 100 volt. So, hanapin natin si uh, series resistance. So, madali lang to. Mag-KBL lang kayo. So, KBL lang tayo papaganda. So, mag-start tayo dito sa 100 volt. Okay? And voltage drop dito kay RS. So, maglagay tayo dito ng positive minus B. B sub S na lang. Minus BS. Minus yung voltage drop dito sa uh, meter movement resistance natin. So, 2 milliampere times 100 ohms equals 0. So, wala na naman. Kaya nag-equal ako sa 0. Okay, so 100 minus 2 milliampere times 100 ohms equals yung BS natin is the current na dumadali sa kanya dahil series lang naman to, eh di yung 2 milliampere din yung dumadali sa kanya. So 2 milliampere times RS. So 2 milliampere times RS. So RSI So, 2 milliampere times 100. 100 minus 99.8 divided by 2 milliampere which is 49.9 kilo ohms. Ito yung sagot natin for the series resistance. Or, pwede nyo i-round i, i, i up na lang dun sa whole number. No? Uh, gawin yung uh, 50 kilo ohms. Wala namang problema na. Okay? So, yan. Madali lang, no? So, move tayo dun sa next or dun sa last type ng DC meter which is the ohmmeter or DC ohmmeter. Okay? Okay, last but not the least type of DC meter movement is the DC ohmmeter. No? So, itong ohmmeter natin is the device no, that measures resistance. So, symbol natin for ohmmeter is bilog na mayroong omega symbol. 
Okay? So, to construct an ohmmeter, no, we would need three components. No? The first component is battery na isi-series natin sa meter movement and isi-series natin sa series resistor. Okay? So, ito yung ohmmeter circuit equivalent natin. No? Yung nasa baba dyan, yung VM, is the measured voltage dun sa mini-measure natin na resistance. Okay? And itong, prob itong uh, formula na nakikita nyo dito is na-derive lang naman yan sa, by using KBL. No? So, hindi nyo naman kailangan memorizing pa yan. No? Okay? Pero kung gusto nyo memorizing, wala namang problema dun. Okay? So, uh, let's have a uh, sample problem. Okay, so, uh, ang tinatanong is, uh, what is the value of the series resistance that will give a full-scale deflection current of 1 mA given that the voltage source and meter movement resistance is 9 volts and 500 ohms respectively? So, inahanap is yung series resistance, pero binigyan tayo ng full-scale deflection na 1 mA and meron tayong 9 volts na battery source or voltage source and meron tayong 500 ohms na meter movement resistance. So, tinatanong is itong series resistance natin or yung RS. Ang problem dito sa circuit na to is that uh, wala tayong or walang binigay dun sa problem na parameter dito sa baba. No? Ito. Itong uh, minimeasure natin na voltage. Or kahit nga yung resistance na minimeasure lang natin, walang binigay. So, paano natin gagawin to? No? So, madali lang to, no? And this applies only sa ohmmeter, no? I'm not sure dun sa voltmeter and sa ammeter kasi wala pa naman ata akong nakikita ng ganun problem. But anyways, pag may nakita ako, uh, ipapakita ko rin naman sa inyo or gagawa ko ng video tungkol dun. Okay? So, for this type of problem, ang gagawin nyo is, first, i-short nyo muna yung, 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 yung circuit sa baba, no? Itong resistor sa baba. So, i-drawing natin or i-redraw natin ng walang resistor. I-short lang natin yan. So, isipin nyo, parang naglagay lang kayo ng wire dyan na ganito. So, sinashort lang natin. So, walang kwenta to. So, i-redraw natin yung circuit. Siguro sa baba na lang para mayroon tayong space. Maraming space. Okay. So, ito na yung uh, 9 volts na battery natin. Well, pwedeng ganyan naman yung ano. Uh, ganyan yung symbol ng voltage or suspect. Or pwedeng ganito rin naman. No? Iparehas lang naman yan. Okay, and ito yung meter movement resistance natin na merong 500 ohms and merong series resistance. And isushort natin yung circuit natin. So, igaground natin ito. Okay, so meron tayo, di pa rin naman nagbago kasi 1 mA full scale deflection pa rin naman. Okay, so based dito, mas masasolve na natin itong series resistance no? by using KBL. So, KBL tayo. So, KBL, mag-start tayo dito sa source, 9 volts. Okay? And then, pagdating dito sa 500 ohms, may voltage drop dyan. So, paano natin kukunin yung voltage drop? No? We just have to multiply 1 mA dun sa 500 ohms. So, ilan yun? 500 times 1 mA is 0.5 volts. So, big sabihin, merong uh, positive minus na 0.5 volts dyan. And dito, ang voltage source natin, no, dahil wala pa naman tayong RS, so ilagay na lang natin as uh, positive minus, siguro BS na lang, B sub S. No? Okay, so 9 volts dito. Then pagdating dito, may voltage drop na, na 0.5, so ima-minus natin yun. Oops, black pala yung gamitin ko. Para consistent. Minus 0.5 volts. Minus voltage drop dito sa RS no, minus BS equals 0. So, kaya ako nag-equal sa 0 na kasi wala na naman. Ground na siya. No? Okay, so, i-isolate natin si BS dahil yun naman ang hinahanap natin. So, 9 minus 0.5 ilan? 9 minus 0.5 is 8.5 volts. So, yung BS natin by using Ohm's law is equal doon sa 1 mA or yung current na dumadali din sa series resistance type times or multiplied by the series resistance RS. So, itong 8.5 i-equal natin sa 1 mA times RS. So, yung RS natin ay equal sa 8.5 divided by 1 mA which is 8,500 or 8.5 kilo ohms. Okay? So, yan yung sagot natin. So, ibig sabihin, Ang, um, ang series resistance pala na, na kailangan natin no, in order to to be constant dun sa full scale deflection is 1 mA lang. Okay? So, yan. Uh, madali lang, no? So, nakuha natin yung, uh, yung uh, value ng series 
resistance. Okay, so that's it muna for this uh, uh, video lecture and I hope may naintindihan kayo doon sa three types ng DC um, meter movement natin. No? So yung ammeter, itong ohmmeter, and yung voltmeter. Okay, so um, thank you for listening and as always, God bless.